Welcome back, everybody. Once more here to the stomping ground on Mog's Cast. I am your host, Mog, of course. And uh, I'm going to be playing a little bit more of uh, the stomping ground today. We are going to be actually learning a bit about how to do some spear fishing. It seems to be a bit of a point of contention for a lot of folks who play this game. So uh, what I'm going to do is uh, start off with what we should be starting off with, building ourselves some tools. So I'm going to grab a little bit of wood here, enough for a campfire and a spear, I do believe. Hell, maybe I should make a teepee just so we don't die. But the thing is about uh, spear fishing, it's not a tricky business. It's just uh, it can be a little a little difficult if you don't know exactly how to how to handle it. So we got five wood there. I need two more for a camp uh, for a campfire. That should put us at seven, and then I need ten for the teepee. So we're gonna be loading up to seventeen wood total. I'm glad that went in. I thought I was going to drop it in the front. Puts us at 10. Yep. Okay, so we need 7 more. I also need to... Uh, I, I put out a tutorial for getting started in this game that had a mistake or two in it. Mainly around the, uh, the bola-ing. How to actually use them and how to uh, capture shoot. Okay, here comes... One of the bastards that I really hate in this game. The stigma blah blah, blah blah I don't know how you actually say their name. But they got a spiked head and they like to headbutt. And they can kill you in two hits. One will knock you pretty far away. In a little distance. But they charge you. They run fast. And if they get you a second time before you have time to regen your health. You're done. You're out. You are dead and gonna spawn... And a completely random location unless you guys get yourself a uh, TP. So that's kind of what I was worried about here and why I wanted to make another TP. Um, okay, so that puts us at 17. That should be more than enough to get us going here. Come on. I slid a little bit so it didn't come with us. We're going to drag this out to the beach a little ways so that we can get some rock. And I do believe, yeah, right here is a rock. So they just recently updated this game. Uh, in fact, Friday. Two, one day ago, it's Saturday. Oh no, it's Sunday now, I guess. It's kind of late. Um, they, they optimized the game a bit, and they added in this menu. The customization menu you access with spacebar currently with default settings. Doesn't do anything just yet, but they put it in as kind of almost like an inventory system to help you manage your, uh, your goods. So, okay, I thought I had that rock there. Apparently not enough. That should put us at four. I need four more. Oh, God. That is a player who, who tamed that thing for himself. That's difficult to do. Oh, boy. Looks like he just killed that for me. Okay, so uh, this was actually a server posted on uh, Reddit. Um, not long back, somebody made a made a comment on the Stomping Ground subreddit and uh, put it up, gave us the instructions to actually automatically connect to it when you start the game. So uh, that's what I've been playing on. Seems to be pretty good folks and uh, pretty damn stable. I don't get like any lag. You can drag around boxes, no big deal whatsoever. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and grab a few stones off here. We're going to set one of those down here. And, uh, start building up. Oh god. Oh god, that is one of the other terrifying, like, beastly ones in here. I think that's called, like, a carn- I, I, I hear people just call it a carnivore. It, it's pretty much like an aliasaur, I think is the correct term. I don't need any more rock. What am I doing hitting that? I need more wood. Sorry, that just totally threw me off. That uh, is the f one of the first times I've seen those guys on the beach. Usually they stay inland, but he's out hunting, it looks like. Is that 5 and 2? That is 5 and 2, so let's go ahead and build ourselves a spear. This is the core equipment that you need for actually getting yourself up and running with spear fishing. We're going to do some fishing in the ocean. That seems to be tricky for most folks. I started off hunting and fishing uh, in the lakes and rivers. So let's grab those two here. We're going to make ourselves a campfire. And sorry, just responding to somebody here. <laughs> I 
Murdered a gal whatever. And I totally thought he was gonna turn around and kill me. Okay, so we got two the two there. We're gonna grab these two here, toss them in so that we can build a campfire. We need two and two. Let's go ahead and drag this just a little further out. And we'll start up our campfire. We're going to make this nice and simple. This is not how you should build. You should get off the beach. The beach is a deadly, deadly place to be because of other players. Though, I'm assuming now, with the new patch having updated, uh, not being able to actually just run up and... Um, like, if you get close to somebody in the previous patch, you could just... Oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god. Put it on there and hunker down. Okay. Previously, you could just run up to somebody if you had the bolus crafted uh, in, 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 in your inventory and just press E on somebody and then rope their legs. Oh god, did he see me? No, he saw somebody else. And uh, you could just drag them along, drown them. It was super hard to avoid. You pretty much had to kill them before they got a chance to click that button. Otherwise, you were just toast. And it was such a pain because people would just abuse the crap out of it and just grief. But anyway, they fixed that. Now you have to effectively toss your bolus, tie their legs, before you can actually um, rope them like that and drag them along. So you have to get a good throw of your bolus and have them not avoid it. So that's definitely made things a little bit more smooth as far as player interactions and surviving on the beach go. We're going to take this just a little off the beaten path here, just so it's not directly in somebody's way and a little less less likely for them to destroy it, I suppose. It's very visible, which is not what you want. But we're putting up our TP so that we have a respawn point. And there we go. TP built, campfire built. We are ready to go do some uh, spear fishing. So, let's go ahead and get out to the water, and I'll show you how this goes. If you're out in the ocean, you really... This is, like, ideal for fishing. You want to be out in the ocean. You can fish in rivers and lakes. You just don't have as many directions you can actually fish in because of the tight quarters. Um, what happens with a fish is they pretty much just spawn all around uh, in water and they'll just clip through the ground and everything. So what you do is you swim out here a ways and then drop in so that you have some space above you ideally and all around you and a whole entire sphere around your location. And you just hang out, hang out and let yourself not move around even if you're getting low on uh, air, just chill. And they come close to you Oh, that was too too far. I thought I had one there. Totally did not. He was not close enough. But as you can see, my air gauge down there is running low. So this is kind of a, a one and done chance at things. You usually don't get the second chance, but we did. So you just look at them. You don't have to turn your character to look toward the, the, the fish you're catching. And you just click your spear in their direction, like facing your camera, centered on the, on the fish. If they are close enough, you will spear them and catch them. And the cool thing is, is when you got them, they hang off your uh, off your spear. So you can uh, kind of keep an eye on, on if you've caught a fish. Now, the thing is, you can't catch many fish, or you can't catch multiple fish at the same time. So once you catch one, you have to run it back and deposit it on your fireplace like this, your fire pit. So you come up, press E, and add fish. And it adds another stake to the, to the spit there. And you can load up to five total meat on your spit. Now, I know those look just like, like the steaks that I got off the dinosaur, and that's because currently it's very early alpha still. I'm sure soon enough there'll be a fish model for it, or at least a different color for the meat. I'm not going to go out quite as far because it wasn't getting that deep. So I'm just going to float on out here, slow myself down nice and quick, and just do this thing. I'll try to take this a little slower. Now you basically, you can just watch all around you. There's a fish there, there's coming up close, but not close enough, that one we did get. Now you might notice it's not hanging off my thing there. It's currently a graphical glitch. If you switch to another item and switch back, it will appear. So don't worry, if you hear the little crunk noise when you spear it, it is on your, f your rod. And it looks like that's one of the head butters over there, so I'm gonna try to avoid them. We're gonna run out a little ways, and that's another one, that's spectacular. We're gonna go ahead and crawl. If you're too far out and your head is below water, you will start drowning. Not like immediately, but your your breath meter will be going. God. These things are freaking deadly. Do not want to be here. Do not want to be here. 
Now, uh, I'm going to do another video sooner or later for actually how to tame things. I need to get inland closer to uh, one of the caves. I don't know entirely where I am. I just spawned on this beach. But uh, that's how you do some spear fishing. To cook the meat, you just go ahead and r press E on your campfire again. Hit start fire. It will start cooking. After a little while, they will turn to a different shade. And you can pretty much just click. And if it just says stop fire, inspect, and close, it is not ready. We'll keep an eye on these for a moment. It doesn't take all that long to cook. And it looks like we're getting some shade here. The sun must be going down. Or it's just wigging out on me. That's fine, too. Let's try again. Still not ready. I don't see anybody around us. We should be safe for the moment. There you go. They went darker there. You can stop the fire. You don't have to to eat them. You can just eat straight off the off the spit there. As you see, one went away, and my health meter in the the right-hand side of the screen, you see where that eye is? Just below it is a, is a hunk of meat that's normally there if you're hungry. Right now, it's invisible. It's between the herb setting there and the eye. But uh, that'll pop up when you start getting hungry. I'm going to go ahead and turn off this fire for the time being and leave it there. But uh, that's going to do it for this video. If you have any questions about how this works, uh, spearfishing, go ahead and drop them in the comments below. I'll do my best to answer them as I can. Thank you guys so much for watching, and uh, we will see you next time. Cheers.